Hello wizards, this is Dota. I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to write into the Book of Lore. So the Book of Lore is uh, a way that we can record the stories and the legends and the myths of thousands of wizards. And so you'll be able to flip through the Book of Lore, the record of the lore is stored on chain, the uh, images and the longer stories will be stored on IPFS. Only wizard holders are able to uh, allowed to write to the lore of their wizard. Um, and this is going to show you how you can write your own lore for your wizard into this book. So let's get started. So what you'll do is you'll come to uh, the book of lore on the website and you can click write your lore. Now, only wizard holders who hold, you know, you have to be using the wallet of uh, the wallet that holds a wizard. So you click connect your wallet and then you can pick a wizard. So I'm testing on Rinkaby right now. Um, and so we could pick, you know, let's say uh, this wizard right here. And so what you've got here is we've got Arc Magician Leah. And over here, we can type in here, we can replace this with Platonic Shadow and her mouse. Um, and then you can want to delete this here. And she might say, you know, um, our he hero one day as she walked through the forest and you know and so on we can go on and we can write here if you want to you can change the background color uh, you can pick a color that you think works better um, as well as if you want to add an image um, all you have to do is just find the image on your desktop we'll drag in here this image of the skull there we go and we'll click save your lore so we're going to sign this request and what it's going to do is prepare the lore. And what's happening right now is it's actually going to upload this lore, this story, this images up to IPFS. And then it'll prepare a transaction for us that we can use to write this to the blockchain. So this will verify that I'm the owner of this wizard. And then here we're going to write it. Now it does cost gas to write lore on chain. Uh, the gas cost to write is um, it's on par with doing a transaction on SushiSwap. So right now at current ETH prices at about say 50 GWA, um, it'll cost someone an order of like $20. Um, we think that's, you know, we're happy with the gas cost. Of course, we hope gas comes down in Ethereum overall. So after the transaction is confirmed, um, what should happen is you should be redirected back over to be able to read your lore on the page. And there we go. Here we have got our lore that we can read. We can flip through here and we can see um, the previous lore that she has written from beforehand. Uh, you know, yeah, I've used this wizard before. We'll talk about this formatting in a second. Um, and what you can see here is you can actually do other lore uh, formatting. So you can do H1 for a title, H2, H3. You can add italics and bold. You can add block quotes. And I'll give the instructions on how to do that um, in the documentation. So there we go. So uh, Arch Magician Leah of the Platonic Shadow, she has these two bits of lore here. Um, and then at the end, you know, you can say write your lore. Now, if you have a piece of lore that's particularly long, for now it will scroll and you can go as long as you would like. Um, we'll work on some things to make that a little bit different in the future. You can flip around to look at some of the other lore on other wizards. And of course, you can uh, peruse the gallery and pick any particular wizard you want and click on this link and then pull up the lore for that wizard. So. Um, I think another question naturally is, well, what lore should I write? How do I write lore? How do I think about lore? And we'll put together a different video for that. But I think, you know, tell the stories that you want to be told about your wizard. And we can't wait to see the lore that you create.